Hello, welcome to our channel. We're J Chronicles. Today's video is extra special because we're taking part in a big autumn fall food collab. It's hosted by many lovely ladies and their channel and the playlist will be linked down in our description. For our meat, we made an apple roasted pork shoulder. This was honestly amazing and we will be making it again. Preheat your oven to 450. Start by prepping your apples and onion. We cut the apples into 12 slices and then layered them in a roasting pan. We only used half an onion, but it was cut into 12 pieces as well. Layer your onions on top of the apples, drizzle some oil, and add about a tablespoon of sugar. Full directions will be in the description. Rinse your pork shoulder off. Then score the skin. Pat your pork dry, then place it on a bed of veggies. Season it generously on all sides with garlic, pepper, basil, thyme, and parsley. When it goes in the oven, you want the skin side up to ensure it gets crispy. Cook the roast at 450 for half an hour. Add in half a cup of apple juice, then turn the oven to 325 and continue cooking for another 2-3 to three hours. For a side, we roasted some butternut squash, sweet potatoes, onion, broccoli, and cauliflower. To prep the squash, cut it in half and scoop out the seeds. Chop it into bite-sized pieces. To a foil lined baking sheet, add some oil, the squash, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. They were roasted at 350 for about 40 minutes as well as the sweet potatoes. The broccoli and cauliflower were cut into bite-sized pieces. Drizzle some oil, garlic, pepper, and salt on them. Bake them at 350 for 30 minutes or until tender. Mm -hmm. 
Our other side was pumpkin orzo. This tied the meal together perfectly. To a pot, add one and a half teaspoons of oil as well as one clove of minced garlic. Let it cook until fragrant. Add in your orzo and stir until it's well coated in the oil. Add in an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and cinnamon, one cup of chicken broth, and one cup of pumpkin puree. Bring it to a boil over medium heat, then turn to low and cook for 18 minutes or until tender. For dessert, we whipped up some healthy pumpkin muffins. In a bowl, mix together oil and honey. Once it's mixed, whisk in the eggs. Add the pumpkin puree, milk, nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, baking soda, vanilla, and salt. Mix in the oats and the flour. Be careful not to overmix. Spoon the mixture into muffin tins. Top them with some extra oats. Bake them at 325 for 22 minutes. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to our channel before you leave. Let us know down in the comments how you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.